Hello everyone, this is the review of game ROT2, I guess this is the name, or, or, or ROT-E, it's not English pronunciation, but whatever, probably it's, a, it's from robot, I, I guess. Uh, this is a jumping platformer uh, where I got stuck in first level and I couldn't progress, so this is gonna be just first level. And the game is quite um, easy to say um, what genre it is. It's a jumping platformer for kids, probably. Uh, and, well, apparently I'm very retarded because I cannot finish even first level. So maybe it's not for kids. I'm not really sure who is the audience. And it has a um, presentation of, you see, the background is blurred. And the game itself is just usual, normal, uh, what you would expect. We don't have any backpack, of course. Uh, jetpack, rather. And we get one, eventually. And uh, we can fight with some button. I forgot what button it was, so I have to go out and... Maybe it's mouse? Yes, mouse. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have a resolution uh, setting, so I had to use full screen. It can be... Uh, window mode, but, uh, or rather, um, full screen off, uh, but uh, that's it, pretty much, you can't do anything else, I have to push this one. It's supposed to have puzzles, like a uh, jumping platformer with puzzles, so maybe it's not for kids, uh, it was too, too hard for me, clearly. So you can vacuum those uh, critters, and then shoot those critters at other critters, or push something. So a little bit physics there. I'm not a big fan of those games, to be honest, at all. If it's just physics puzzle for, uh, you know, your brain activity, that's cool. If it's uh, jumping platform, I don't love it. I, I don't know how I should get there. Probably I need this uh, jetpack that I cannot get. Uh, if, if it exists, even. I guess my battery is life. Uh, I'm guessing. I don't know what those things are for. What's your battery power? Yeah, I guess we heal. And now... We can move this, jump on this button, and then we fly. I don't know how we should fly in an arc, because I couldn't. But apparently you should somehow... Maybe we can vacuum those, can we? No. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay. And th this is pretty much the end, because... I'll show you what's the problem in this game. For me, at least. I'm not good at those games. I don't like them, to be honest. So it will be a biased... Uh, if this is the right word, uh, review, because, well, I don't like the gender at all. So, see, that's the problem. I couldn't progress past this uh, area. We have the soap, or I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a soap. Ouch. Oh, it hurts, also. So, w once we kill those guys, I'm stuck. At this point, I don't know what to do. Uh, should we put soap in there? And it will produce something? Apparently not. Now, can you jump on the hot water tub? No, because you fall through it. It's not uh, It's not interactive. Now, we can take this, this weird stone, and, I don't know, should we shoot it in, in it? No. See, it goes up, weirdly. Maybe it just sticks. Oh, maybe you should jump on it. But, you, you see, the problem is you cannot jump on it, really. And now it's completely messed up because it's uh, away doesn't go back and you can't really I, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you can stand on it to be honest I don't think so maybe you can maybe it's, I, well you could try it again maybe I don't know how you reset it maybe there's a button to reset let's see uh, I'm not sure even what buttons you use to go out of this because uh, the steering is diff it's weird in this game escape doesn't work for some reason I don't know which button works to go out of this. Oh yeah, it, it works. See it? It's moving like this. Weirdly. I don't know why it happens. Why is this soap moving on the side? Well, it wasn't there. Maybe it's a bug, you know, to be honest. I, I don't know. Is it there? Maybe, uh, maybe we should do this. See, you can't go to it. In any way, you can't jump on it. This is very weird. I don't know how it works. Maybe you should see if you put it in water, it also goes up. 
but you can stand on it. So, guys, this is gonna be a very short review, or rather, first impression, and I'm not very impressed. Uh, I got stuck. Sorry. If anyone can progress, and please tell me how, because I have no idea. Seriously, maybe we can bring it to the left. Last idea they have. Yeah, we can bring it to the to the cucumbers. What am I supposed to do with it? Huh? Throw it there? No. Maybe jump and throw it there. No, it doesn't climb. See, it doesn't climb. It climbs there. It climbs on the sink. Of course, if I throw it. That's nothing. And I don't know what the water does. Is it just there? It's like bouncing off it. But it's not. Yeah. It climbed up and, and it got stuck. And that's the whole game. For, for me. You know, because I'm out. Uh, I'm not good in those games. So, what can I say? Uh, it does have puzzles. And it's, generally speaking, a jumping platform. I would like to go out of this, but I forgot the key. It doesn't say what key. So, sorry, I, I'm not going to guess now what keys should I use, because, I don't know, I'm just checking all the buttons, how you exactly go out of this. I'm pretty sure it was escape, but it's apparently not escape. So, I don't know which buttons used to even navigate this game. It has bad um, controls. Now I probably made a, yeah, I made a screenshot on Steam, but I don't, still don't know how you go out. I don't know why uh, Escape is not reacting completely. Uh, maybe it's a bug. How do I finish level? Uh, no idea. No buttons work. Nothing. So I would have to just exit. Uh, I think I showed you what it is. It's a platformer like this with apparently some puzzles. Uh, too hard for me. So I don't know if it's for kids. Probably not. Um, Physics, I don't know if it has physics. You know, you can jump on stuff and use your weight to, to, to do something. You can push objects. So it has some physics. And I'm, see, I'm dying slowly because of lack of energy. Maybe I'm gonna just die and reset. Well, I don't know. We can check, whatever. Maybe I die while I talk. And, um, I don't like it because I don't like those games, generally speaking. But if someone does, I cannot say it's a bad game, because may maybe somebody will find something in it. Uh, I just don't like the genre at all. And I cannot progress, because I, I don't understand it. I don't know how it's supposed to work. I don't know what's interactive, what's what, why this tab is not really interactive, why this is not interactive. And yet I'm supposed to go right, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I should go here and, you know, go through this stuff here. Maybe I should clean it and go down the drain or something. I know how it works. I can't just, uh, you know, vacuum, let's say, this and move it to the right and then climb on the right side, which I would do if, it, if this had any physics. It doesn't. I know how you jump. Should I jump and throw it and then jump again? No. Can I double jump? No. I'll now probably die. Let's see what happens. So, I don't understand this game, but I understand the genre. Uh, and I don't like games like this. So, I don't know, maybe it's for kids, maybe you can progress further, maybe you like platformers, as platformers, whatever they are. Let's see what happens if we go from here. Is this in the same spot? Yeah, it's there, but I still don't know what to do with it. No idea, maybe I should die and try to like jump off them. No. Should I kill them with this? I don't know, seriously, I don't know. Maybe I should throw those critters in here, you know. Maybe that's it. But how am I supposed to reset it? I cannot. And still no buttons work for some reason. Maybe they don't work in a uh, full screen. Maybe that's the problem. So it has some bug to exit the level, which I did previously. And you can get stuck in level one. Uh, is it good? Well, I don't like the graphics, to be honest. Well... Probably they are passable, if you like games like this. Then graphics don't matter really, you just do the jumping and running. It can have also a completely rudimentary graphics, not a big problem in this genre. Uh, kind of poorly done. Uh, I don't like the blur in the background. Why, why is it there? To, to add some depth, maybe, but it's just painful to the eyes. Why, why is it so much blurred? I mean, 
the game has very um, low resolution uh, textures anyway so adding blur on top of it, it it's painful and yeah I can't re I shouldn't be probably doing this review because I don't like the genre so of course I will say I don't like it but maybe within the genre it's good I wouldn't say so because I played also other games like this and I actually played better platformers so not the greatest platformer as well very unclear what to do what's interactive and what not see you don't know what moves because they look the same the, the jars moved uh, this, the spoon doesn't uh, this is of course too big I guess but you know I would like to have more options to at least you know uh, have more than one solution to a problem like climb on the on the spoon then put this on top of it and then jump out of this or make it soak water right put it there make it soak water then use it uh, I don't know maybe when it's full of water it can hold my weight or something you know add something to it because this is very rudimentary at the same time it's very hard because I don't know how to progress I only came up with this toaster thing to jump on the on the button and now I'm stuck and that's it I can dig through it I can jump through it I apparently don't have a jetpack I don't know how you get it uh, probably the first part of the level is also for jetpack because there were those uh, platforms that I couldn't reach at all maybe I uh, may maybe I have one more button which does something I don't know I tried all the buttons and uh, lack of resolution is painful um, configuration of keys also weird uh, it's like done for the console but made into keyboard barely it's very underbaked so that be it from me not much to say really I'm not impressed uh, for fans of the genre for kids well if you can progress maybe probably you can if you are good at those games I'm not so that's all from my side and I'll see you guys in the next review